Camilla and the U.S. leaders' chat was marked by an unexpected reaction from the 78-year-old president that she has been thinking about ever since. As they talked, Mr. Biden reportedly broke wind which made Prince Charles' wife very uncomfortable. An informed source has told the Mail on Sunday that Camilla was taken aback to hear Biden break wind as they made polite small talk at the global climate change gathering in Glasgow. It was long and loud and impossible to ignore, the source said. Camilla hasn't stopped talking about it. The gas leak reportedly happened after the audience listened to Queen Elizabeth's recorded speech. The monarch could not fly to Glasgow as per her doctor's orders but still managed to address the panel of leaders attending the conference. It is a source of great pride to me that the leading role my husband played in encouraging people to protect our fragile planet, lives on through the work of our eldest son Charles and his eldest son William, she said. I could not be more proud of them. In the coming days, the world has the chance to join in the shared objective of creating a safer, stabler future for our people and for the planet on which we depend. None of us underestimates the challenges ahead, but history has shown that when nations come together in common cause, there is always room for hope. Working side by side, we have the ability to solve the most insurmountable problems and to triumph over the greatest of adversities. I, for one, hope that this conference will be one of those rare occasions where everyone will have the chance to rise above the politics of the moment, and achieve true statesmanship. The benefits of such actions will not be there to enjoy for all of us here today, we none of us will live forever. But we are doing this not for ourselves but for our children and our children's children, and those who will follow in their footsteps. Another news. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, 40, stepped away from royal duties last year, and since then the couple has undertaken a number of ventures and activities while they pursue a financially independent life away from the firm. This includes the launch of Archul, which comprises Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan Markle's non-profit charitable foundation, as well as a business division focusing on media production. Royal commentator Jonathan Sacerdoti claims the couple has reproduced royal-style activities since they quit royal duties in 2020. He claims that the couple mimicked a traditional tour taken by royal family members when they visited New York in September. He told, she and Harry left behind the life of working royals, but are working now for their own aims, promoting causes they feel are important and building their own commercial and charity empire. It has been noted by many that despite leaving the UK and the inner circle of the royal family, they seem to be reproducing royal-style activities, including a sort of pseudo-royal tour in New York whilst reportedly wearing microphones to film a video production. In September, the couple undertook a three-day trip to New York, which saw Meghan and Harry make a number of appearances around the Big Apple. Reports at the time suggested their New York trip may have been filmed for the couple's Netflix deal after Harry was spotted with a mic while in the city. Royal fans spotted the wire when Harry went to hug Melba restaurant owner Melba Wilson on Friday, September 24, and it was also visible during the couple's visit to a school in Harlem, where Meghan read her children's book to students. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were also seen accompanied by their own videographer on their tour of New York, and the camera operator was seen running ahead of them as they stepped out before a tour of the 9-11 memorial. This doesn't mark the only instance Meghan has demonstrated royal behavior, according to claims made by Mr. Sacerdoti. Last month, the Duchess of Sussex appeared in a children's YouTube video to read her book The Bench, inspired by the relationship between her husband and son. The former actress suffered a backlash over the appearance with some royal fans claiming that the Duchess of Sussex is copying other members of the royal family. Users on Twitter pointed out that the venture was similar to the actions of other royal family members including Sarah Ferguson who regularly reads from children's books for her own YouTube channel. However, Jonathan Sacerdoti who has featured in coverage for the BBC and Sky News defended the Duchess for her actions and the similarity royal watchers had pointed out. He said, there are only so many ways to promote a children's book. One of those is public readings, which today can be done online as well. Meghan does engage in some similar activities to other royals. Of course Meghan wants to promote her book, which I am sure she worked hard on. And her publishers will want her to carry out promotional activity to help sell copies, that is the nature of commercial publishing deals.